Hey, this is Bert, and this week we're going to tackle a question that maybe some of you didn't even know was a question. Does Darth Vader really have a silver cheek in Star Wars A New Hope? No skill customs. So, the question is, does Darth Vader have a silver cheek in Star Wars A New Hope? And, uh, yeah, guess what? I had thought for years that, that all the people that were talking about this were crazy, and that... Um, he pretty much, it's just the shine and they're just misinterpreting it. And, uh, and I found out I was wrong. Darth Vader does in fact have a silver cheek. So why would they paint the cheek on Darth Vader's helmet silver? Well, the answer comes to us from this book that I absolutely love called Star Wars Costumes, the original trilogy by Brandon Ollinger. They have a whole section about Darth Vader. And in that section, uh, they have a little thing talking about this very topic. The book quotes painter Ron Punter. They tried to photograph an all-black Darth Vader costume early on and nothing showed up. None of the features showed on screen. So it was redesigned and color features were added to make areas stand out. The book continues, Vader's mask and shoulder armor were given a two-tone paint scheme of gloss black and gunmetal silver. The contrast between the two colors prevented details of the costume from washing out on screen. And if you look at the costume in the movie, it's not just a silver cheek. On his face, he has silver around his right-hand eye and the bridge of his nose. All of those places are painted this pewter silver color on the actual costume with the sole purpose of just having all these details of this mask that they spent so long creating, having all those details show up on screen. Now, I don't know why they chose in Empire Strikes Back to just go with an all-black Vader mask rather than doing the, the, the two-tone silver and black like they did for A New Hope. My guess is, if you know anything about the making of A New Hope, they didn't know this movie was going to be big. And so they were on a really tight budget. So maybe it was just quicker and easier and cheaper to just put the silver paneling on to make sure all those face, face details showed up rather than... Uh, you know, pay for more expensive lighting or more lighting or something like that. So by the time Empire Strikes Back came around, they could spend a lot more money. Uh, and uh, maybe that's that's all it took to say, you know what, let's just make this whole mask just all black because we have the money to light it and have it look perfect. So what does this have to do with action figures? I'm an actor, action figure channel. Well, this whole topic came up because uh, one of my favorite channels, Spectre Creative, did a video that was very similar to mine. And so I wanted to see where we had differences. Okay, the video was all about what is the best modern update of each vintage figure. And so I did mine as a series. Spectre Creative just jumped right in and did it all as a one big 40-minute special. And, uh, and we agreed on most things. But it came up that he chose the Rogue One Darth Vader figure as the best modern update of the vintage Darth Vader for a number of reasons. Number one, while it is called a Rogue One figure, it's based on Darth Vader's appearance in The New Hope because Rogue One naturally tried to match his look in A New Hope as closely as possible considering the fact that Vader's last appearance was, you know, minutes before his first appearance in New Hope technically. When we're talking about the main difference that most people know about between Darth Vader's costume in New Hope and Empire and Jedi is that he had fabric in all the costumes, but in, in A New Hope, that fabric goes over top of his shoulder armor, whereas in Empire and Jedi, the fabric goes underneath the shoulder armor. The shoulder armor covers it up. The Rogue One Vader is one of, of, of a number of figures that does the New Hope style, but it also has the red eye lenses, which you may not have noticed when you watch New Hope. He does have red eye lenses in. Spectre Creative also mentioned that he likes the Rogue One figure because it actually has a silver cheek, which is crazy because ha I've had this figure for you know months now and I never noticed that they did that. And not only does it have the silver cheek, it has the silver by the eye. They didn't do the silver on the bridge of the nose, though, for some reason. Um, and when I'm saying bridge of the nose, I'm talking about the top part. We all know that in Empire and Jedi, the tip of his nose is always silver. That's that's true through all the movies. For as much as I talk about screen accuracy and how important that is to me, I feel like in this case, it's actually kind of a mistake. They did not paint Darth Vader's cheek silver and this space below his eye silver so that you would think that he had silver paint on his mask. 
they did it so that you would think that he had black paint on his mask, but you could actually just see the details of his mask. That was the purpose, was to see the details, not, not so that you'd think that that's what he looked like. And so that's why, you know, 40-something years later, tons of people don't, didn't even know that, that his cheek was silver. Okay, in fact, I didn't even believe it, right, until, really, until I found that Spectre creative video, and I had, I'm like, okay, I got to really look this up now. So until then, I didn't actually even believe that his cheek was silver, but it is. So for me, I don't feel like the figure should necessitate that. That's almost like Peter Cushing was wearing slippers on set, so all your Grand Moff Tarkin figures should have slippers on. I feel like if we're not supposed to know about it, then it doesn't need to show up in the figure. That's how I feel about it. You're not really supposed to know that his mask isn't actually just all solid black. You're supposed to think it is. Okay, so th that's how the figure, that's what the figure should represent to me. Does that mean I don't like the Rogue One figure? No, it's actually still one of the most amazing ones. And you know what? They did the silver well enough that, like I said, I was fooled into thinking it was all black. So it is actually kind of cool that it, it's like so accurate to the movie that it does, it plays the same trick on you that the movie does, where you see the details, but you don't really notice that you're looking at silver actually. So, but my choice was the Revenge of the Sith Darth Vader that came out in the Black Series 3.75 inch line. Spectre Creative's argument for choosing the Rogue One Darth Vader figure as the modern counterpart to the vintage one is because the vintage one was made just after A New Hope came out and before any of the other movies did. So you should have as a modern counterpart a, a New Hope style Darth Vader. My argument in choosing the Black Series 3.75 inch Darth Vader figure as the modern counterpart to the vintage Kenner one is the fact that the vintage Kenner one, if you look closely at it, actually resembles Darth Vader from Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi more because he's got that shoulder armor over the fabric. And I feel like this version is the best Empire slash Jedi version of Darth Vader. I've yet to find an explanation for why the vintage figure does that when when there was no shots of the costume looking like that back then so i don't know where that came from um, i could not find any images of darth vader predating empire strikes back predating the vintage uh, you know star wars toy line that showed the armor over top of the fabric so i don't know where they got that idea but you know that's what he looks like so i thought i'd find the best vader that looks like that in my opinion i'm going to leave that up to you guys which vader is the best modern update of the the vintage one okay you've heard my two arguments about why i, I choose the revenge of the sith one and you've heard specter creatives uh arguments about why the rogue one one is so that's up to you but uh i think you know what either one of them is a great choice because they're both awesome figures so you can i'm going to leave you with that have a good one everybody like and subscribe so you know when my next video is